A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, October 7th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. President Joe Biden yesterday met with IBM top officials at their Poughkeepsie facility to tour the plant that has been a cornerstone of the company's innovations since 1941. He celebrated IBM's announcement of a $20 billion investment in the Hudson Valley region over the next 10 years, while also celebrating the Federal CHIPS Act, which he recently signed into law. And as we saw during the pandemic, when factories, when factories that make these ships shut, chips shut down around the world, the global economy literally comes to a screeching halt. More Americans have learned the phrase supply chain and what it means. Well, guess what? The supply chain is going to start here and end here in the United States. The IBM investment supported by the CHIPS Act in collaboration with New York State is slated to expand the technology of artificial intelligence, quantum computers, semiconductors, and hybrid cloud development. Purveyors of fentanyl are now peddling their poison to the younger demographics with the way they're packaging the lethal drug. That has Sullivan County Health and Human Services Deputy Commissioner Wendy Brown, head of the county's opioid task force, worried. They're packaging the fentanyl pills, they're colored, and they look like candy. So we're putting out an alert to all the schools. We're going to do public service announcements to make sure that people are aware this is just, I mean, this is poison. They're, you know, they're marketing poison. County officials have been told that most fatal doses in the county occur as a result of fentanyl-laced opioids. It has been one week since someone opened fire on spectators leaving a Newburgh Free Academy football game in Newburgh. And now the district athletic director, Howard Harrison, has put the brakes on all home athletic competitions at all school district or local municipal venues. The pause is in effect from yesterday through next Thursday. At the same time, Harrison said district officials are seeking any potential sites for home competitions. Both the physical and emotional well-being of all of our athletes, employees, and spectators remain our priority, he wrote in a letter to the community. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Orange County is going to purchase a mobile motor vehicle office to bring services to residents who cannot get to the three county clerk's offices in Goshen, Middletown, and Newburgh. The county legislature yesterday approved spending $220,000 in ARPA funds for the vehicle. Majority Leader Tom Fagione, whose district includes the city of Port Jervis, said the unit will be a plus for residents of western Orange County since that area lost a DMV office a number of years ago. Newburgh legislator Genesis Ramos said the mobile unit will benefit residents who do not live in the areas where permanent offices are located. One of the things that I think all of us care about in the legislature is access and how can we make our county services accessible to folks across the county. So um, this is great. I'm very excited and I look forward to seeing um, not just how we implement it, but how we as we do implement it, uh, how we can continue improving um, the services throughout the county. The counties of Sullivan and Ulster also have a traveling DMV unit. Those counties only have one county clerk's office each. State police from the Ellenville Barracks have arrested a Kerhunkson man on several felony charges for allegedly attacking and severely injuring two people by striking them with a rock. Police charged 34-year-old David Underhill Haval with several felony counts of assault. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.